And hello and welcome everybody, Johnny Jans here coming to you at Universal Studios on day number 25 of this thing that I'm doing. That's right, it's been 25 days in a row now that I've been coming to either Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios, even City Walk, and I have not stopped. I'm super excited to keep going. I hope you come along with me on this adventure as we carry it on forward. I don't know when I'm gonna stop. Maybe you'll be with me on day 50, but I don't know. But the important thing is that I'm having fun doing it and I'm happy you're coming along with me. So we're gonna keep on going, enjoying this annual pass, enjoying beautiful universal attractions and what they have to offer and we're always gonna keep on handering around out jaws 316 and that's the bottom line right there that wonderful universal sign again looking all good in the daytime heading into universal gate this morning and look what they added underneath the sign they got the Rock the Universe medallion up there hanging. There we go, Rock the Universe, January 27th and 28th. It's gonna be a rockin' weekend. Here's a look at some of the lineup coming to Rock the Universe this weekend. Coming here to Rock, got Ren Collective, Torn Wells, Skillet, Ann Wilson, Matthew West, Zach Williams. All coming to Rock this weekend. And you can see they're getting all ready for Rock the Universe. They have all these fences put up and that's where they're gonna rock out right on the stage under the Hollywood Rocket. It's quite fitting. Speaking of the rocket, it looks like it's not running today. I bet you it's too windy. It's kind of a cold day and the wind is definitely up. And I've said before, if it's windy, that thing's not running. And for today's adventure, we're on a critical mission. We need to take the AllSpark from the nest to give it to some big robots. Do you understand what's going on? It's okay, neither do I. But we're gonna go do Transformers The Ride 3D. It's a crazy 3D experience, almost a lot like Spider-Man. The same ride design as Spider-Man but I feel like it's a lot more intense because it's a lot more action-packed and in your face about it. So we're gonna go inside, check out the ride, check out the gift shop, and see what Transformers has to offer today. And right now it is a 90 minute wait for Transformers, the ride 3D, but single rider is open, so I'm gonna go press my luck. And welcome to the nest. This is the base operations of the Autobots. And there's a Decepticon, there's a Decepticon invasion that's happening outside the streets right now. And I guess we have the AllSpark, so we need to get it out of here with a with an Autobot name, a new Autobot named Evac. That's actually the ride vehicle, so that's cool. And he's gonna help escape Nest while the Decepticons are all chasing us today. See how that goes. Check it out, we got some Transformers type writing on the wall here. Anyone out there can transcribe robotees? Maybe they'll know what that says. All right, I just got off the Transformers ride. I lucked out, single rider line. It was only 20 minutes, it wasn't bad. Um, and it moved really fast, so I'm happy I did that. And what a crazy, intense attraction that is. Like I said, action packed. Doesn't go fast or anything, it's a lot like Spider-Man, but there's so much going on with robots, you can't even tell who's good or who's bad anymore, or what the heck even happened. But, we did it everyone, we saved the AllSpark, and we got it to Optimus Prime, so mission accomplished, we saved the day. That was great, but now, I'm in the Transformers, the gift shop, the ride, not in 3D. Or is it, because we're in reality, I don't know. Welcome to the Transformers gift shop. What do we got here and for decorations? We got Bumblebee rocking pretty hard there in his epic stance, posing, posing real strong. We got Transformers logos. This is what's happening in the ride right now. They're getting prepped for their action adventure up there. Military gear, this is like a military stronghold. 
and we have to watch out because Megatron's on the streets out there and that's who we were running from. Luckily, he didn't get the AllSpark today. We won the day. Check it out, they have all your gear you need for survival. They got some canteens and then your Global Alliance Nest shirt so they know who you are. All this Transformer gear. Not much for decorations, probably because we're in war-torn times here. You can see cracks in the building up there, probably from Megatron's attack. I don't know. A lot more Transformer merchandise. This is cool. This brings me back to my childhood days. These old school Transformers right here. Before Michael Bay ruined my childhood. Took all my favorite things like Ninja Turtles, Transformers, G.I. Joe. I don't know if he did G.I. Joe, but I'm going to blame him for it. And turned him into very interesting things. And remember I was looking at collectible coins? Well, they're here in Transformers. You can get... You, that looks like... Is that Starscream? Nah, we, oh no, it's Bumblebee, of course. Of course it is. We got Bumblebee, the Autobots logo, Optimus Prime himself, or the Decepticons logo. Back in my wilder and younger days, I was in a car club called Decepticons. Got my car all hooked up. I mean, it was a Dodge Neon, but I made it look good and we rocked it hard. Decepticons. But if I want to relive my car club days, they got auto emblems to stick on your car. I can get that old Decepticons logo back on my car. This must be the power box to the whole station right here. And it looks like we're, we're running really good with power. So that's good right there. Let's crank it up a notch to A mode. There you go. That's going to make a better attraction right there. The whole building is like one giant box in the middle of Universal Studios. E7. I guess it fits the soundstage element. Or like I said, it's a bunker for the Autobots. It's probably, that's probably the story. Held the Autobots in there. And then we just were in the supply vault. That's the name of the gift shop. Unlike Marvel Studios Island, where they call their thing shop and store, over here at Studios, we got the supply vault. And out in front of the store, they got more collectible pennies that are different than the ones inside. We got Megatron, the big bad himself. We got this Optimus Prime right there. Another Bumblebee. And Evac, that's the character we were on the ride, or riding with. He helped save the day. Good job, Evac. And Transformers The Ride 3D is a lot like if you are running through a junkyard as fast as you can through all the cars. That's exactly what I felt like on this ride. I feel a little bit like Optimus Prime right now as he's pointing off into the horizon because I don't know how this thing that I'm doing is going to go, but I'm pointing toward the future. One of the things that I'm calling this, this thing that I am doing is because I don't really know what to call it because I'm not going to say it's 365 days, but I'm not not saying that. So for the future, it's gonna be this thing that I'm doing. Plus it sounds cool, I like it. It looks like the universe is already starting to rock over here. They have a stage set up right in front of Mel's Diner at the crossways between where New York meets Hollywood, I guess. And they have a band. They're already jamming out a little. So it's gonna be a rocking weekend, that's for sure. It looks like the Tribute Store is coming here. They got the banners and the marquee all set. Don't know what they're making a tribute to. Looks like live music, so maybe they're going to make a tribute to music or something. I don't know. But that's where the new Tribute Store is going to be. And I'm looking forward to paying a lot of things tribute in there. And there's the Mystery Machine again. It's parked. Scooby and the gang must be out solving another mystery. Taking fun pics. It looks like today's mystery is at the broadcast center. Because you can see Shaggy and Daphne there searching for clues and taking pics. Because last time the mystery was down there by the Today Cafe. And now it's over here. Where's the mystery going to be next time, guys? Fun pic in front of the mystery machine. Yeah. Early. 
Got it. And there they are. Oh, there's Thelma now. I didn't see her before. Had to get closer to the mystery. Cool. I don't know where Scooby is. He must be inside looking for clues. Well, there it is, folks. An epic conclusion with an epic ride to my most epic day 25 of this thing that I'm doing. I want to thank you for coming along with me on these past 25 days, and I'm going to look forward to the next 25 days. <laughs> we'll see. But no matter what happens, I'm Donnie Jams, and as always, I'll catch you out there. Hand ring around! Looks like the exit sign has returned and we're exiting out the right side of the park instead of the left. But the Blues Brothers had a hand in that. Thanks, guys. I will. Oh. And Johnny Jams 316 said, I just caught you meandering around.